What the hell? I think we're right. Don't <laughs> steal my design. <laughs> oh, this is so complicated. Shut up. Can I just return these? Thanks very much. Cheers. Oh, sorry. This is me on a t-shirt in one of the biggest retailers in the UK, and they have no idea. How did I do it? Let's give you some context. Fashion, fashion, fashion. It's something that I know a bit about. Sure, I've heard of clothes. Nice pink shirt, salmon, that's your color. Fashion is something that I'm quite good at. I've become internationally famous due to my clothing choices. Well, when I say that I have, I mean Maximus Bucharest has. The most famous model that you've never heard of. Nice, yeah. Get out the run. <laughs> Maximus first burst onto the scene in 2019, and he became an instant star across the world. I mean, that's pretty big, isn't it? After his breakout at London and Paris Fashion Week, he continued to rise. Maximus was spotted in Tatler, and he also became the first model ever to get his own billboard campaign for free. There was a dark side to all of this, however, as it seems that Maximus Bucharest was being exploited. The fashion industry was taking Bucharest's designs and selling them for their profit. And let me tell you, he wasn't happy about it. Maximus, how do you feel about the... Uh, the Shut up. So yeah, certain fashion brands around the world have been stealing Maximus Bucharest designs. Now, I am not one to call plagiarism without any evidence. Evidence is key, but oh my word, I do have some evidence. Let's, for example, take the Maximus Bucharest fragile t-shirt design. We've got some fragile packing tape. We put it on a t-shirt and we had some fun. Immediately after, a couple of days after, ASOS started selling this item, and uh, I've also been able to find um, some boots that have got the fragile packing tape on it. That's example number one. Maybe the benefit of the doubt there could be given. We now move on to exhibit B. Um, during the video, I was holding a bag that said emotional baggage on it. Bit of fun. I was then made aware of this bag that says emotional baggage. Again, um, wouldn't be too cheesed off about it if the font that they were using was not the exact font that I use for Street Smart. I'm Max Fosh, and welcome to Street Smart. Now, the final culprit, this one's quite blatant. Um, it's around the packaging collar plastic thing that I had. Basically, we've got plastic packaging, you get parcels that protect your package, wrap them around my neck, into a silly collar. It looked great. Um, but now, you can buy, for quite a lot of money, this. So this has all made me, quite frankly, a bit cheesed off. And I'm not angry at the individual companies, I'm angry at the fashion industry in general, because this is not the first time that a smaller creator, a smaller artiste, has been ripped off for their designs. It happens all the time. What I'm going to do to get back is I'm going to go into these shops, buy lots of their clothing. Thanks very much. Go home, print my own designs on these clothing, and return the clothes with the tag still on, and watch my designs get sold in their shops. I've got my money back, and my designs are now in Primark. I set out to the closest shopping centre in search for blank canvases onto which I could put my designs, and then return those designs. Oh yes, here we go, that's perfect. A blank canvas for things to be put on. I'm thinking putting our own chess pieces on this on this t-shirt. How about Maximus riding the skate park? Quite like these. Just putting putting Maximus just straight there. Time to pay. I was slightly nervous about what I was doing, as companies pay millions to have their branding in these stores. Surely my rather mediocre designs wouldn't get past these gatekeepers of the fashion world. Also, what's the returns policy? Do you just, do you just exchange or you, you do full no, refund as well? Um, so you've got 28 exchange or refund. Oh, great. 28 days. 28 days. My mind, however, was put at ease when I discovered the rather relaxed nature when it came to returns. Oh, well, this has already got bloody tomato ketchup on it. There is, I was just wondering whether that would, that would affect the return. Yeah. That'd be all right? So if, so if someone came with that as the return, you'd be like, you'd just accept it? Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Cheers. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, I need the receipt, don't I? Thank you very much. Cracking.
With my goodies, I then mocked up some designs to go on those goodies. For Primark, I wanted to cross out a location on their t-shirts and replace it with Bucharest in Comic Sans. For H&M, I wanted to put a photo of myself on the t-shirt. And finally, for Superdry, I wanted to write the message, Stop Stealing My Designs, in Japanese. Oh god, I'm going to have to cut out all the designs, aren't I? That's going to be a nightmare. As this was my first time printing designs onto clothing, I thought it would be prudent to have a test run. This was a very good idea. I'm just going to do a test print now. And just like that, don't see all my designs coming out perfectly in Japanese. How the hell do I put on a t-shirt? Right, so turn the iron on. Tear off backing paper. Aha! Uh -huh. Put the fabric on the hard desk. What the hell is transfer paper? Oh, this is so complicated. Iron is too short. One, two, three. I have no idea where this is working. No way. No way. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, don't do that. Yep, right. <laughs> Operation Save the Iron is not going as well as hoped. Just gonna have to lose the iron. With the semi-functioning iron, things took a turn. Aha, this looks, this is a good sign. Yeah. Come on. Get in. <laughs> Nobody would be any the wiser if they just saw that. Perfect. The moment of truth. Bingo. You can just see the line. I think, it's, I think it's worked quite well. I don't think someone who's in a hurry is going to be able to tell that that has been put on. Ta-da! <laughs> just to prove that it works so well, I've got a Japanese to English translator app. Put it over, aim at text. <laughs> Super dry. <laughs> don't steal my design. <laughs> With my process sorted, I just need to finish up with the remaining items. I went skateboarding, I was put on a chessboard, and I told more people in Superdry to stop stealing my designs. Ta-da! <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Cool. Let's go. Put some of my designs back in the shops. Me and my dump truck of a booty headed back to the shops with the items. And as you're on tenterhooks to see whether it's worked, it's the perfect, if not rather manipulative time, for me to sell you something. On this occasion, I would love to sell you to come and look at me in my stand-up tour around the UK. Tickets are going really fast, but it's an incredible opportunity for you to sit in the audience and try and whisper to your mate, wow, he's, he's taller than I thought. All the info is on www.maxfosh.co. Please come, it's, it's really quite adequate. Back in Westfield, it was returns time. Can I just re return this, please? Sorry, can I just return these? Bought them the wrong size. You don't want people being sneaky, do you? Sorry, can I just return these, please? Yeah. Refund item, 1998, Jersey Fancy, Jersey Fancy. Proof. Have a lovely day. Refund, two from two. They were gobbled back up by all the retailers, but that was only half the battle. I now needed to wait and see if they were put back out into the stores. And were they? <laughs> yeah, of course they were. Someone like Maximus Booker. <laughs> Shit. Santa Cruz, no, Bucharest. It's Comic Sans. <laughs> Bingo. Don't steal my designs, guys. Come on. It's really that easy. You have no idea how many I've put in your store. You know what? It really was that easy. All you need to become a fashion designer for the top brands nowadays is a crap iron. And to the other retailers out there, I'd say this. Watch out. Bucharest is coming. <laughs>